Hello everyone, it's Jim Martin and I wanted to go over this script with you that will take a voicemail and send a mp3 recording uh, to an email address. If you've ever dealt with uh, recordings with Twilio, you know that it sends a long link uh, with Twilio.com and, and it's a huge URL. And a lot of people don't want Twilio in there at all. They don't want the client to know that they're using Twilio, which I totally understand. That's why I I had this put together or figured it out, I guess. I don't, it's been kind of a, um, a little bit of a long road getting this to work because I'm not a programmer. But it does work good now. So I want to go over a few of the files that you're going to have to work with. There's two ways to do this. You can have uh, this file, call email. Basically, let me open it up here for you. Basically, what it'll do is call a business. It'll it'll redirect. It'll dial a business. And there's my cell phone. I was testing it. It'll tell them with the whisper file in this uh, in this folder that there's a call from the internet, and it will record the call. And then it'll send that recording to their e the email address that you that you specify in the mail.php file. So that's that one. You could also do voicemail to email and have it simply take a message. And this might be after you do something with OpenVBX. This would be the last thing uh, where they where you redirect it out of OpenVBX. You tell the person to leave your message after the tone, and then it will do the same thing. It'll it'll record the call. This could be like for uh, if you set up a testimonial line, you could have the person um, leave their testimonial, and it will send it to the business owner's email address. Okay, so those are the two files. I would think that you probably use that one um, more than the other. Now, here's the one where you're going to have to put in a lot of information of what you want. Uh, this is the mail.php file, and this is what really is the, the back end of this whole thing. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just put your from email there. That would probably be yours if you're dealing with the client. Put your name or business name there. Um, in the subject line, you can put anything you want. You might want to put a uh, new call from the internet or whatever you want to put there. The body of the email will go right here. You could put, uh, you have a new call from the internet. Uh, MP3 recording is attached to this email. And then uh, the email address, I put your email, but this is recipient email here. So not your email address, wherever you want to send it to. So that would probably be the business owner's email address. That's all you need to change in here. Uh, just add those things between the uh, quotation marks there. This is the whisper file. All it does is say you have a call from the internet. You can change this however you want. It's the robot guy who says you have a call from the internet. Speak now. I included the services folder. You don't really need this, but I included it because I like to have that services folder available. Um, but you don't really need it. Here's the one that actually sends the email. You don't have to do anything in here. There's a lot of files in here. This actually does all the heavy lifting of sending the email itself. So don't mess with this. The only thing you got to do is change the mail.php uh, file to, to where you want it to go and things. And then you can use, in your voice or in your Twilio account, use either the call email file or the voicemail email file. So that's about it. I'm offering this for free to everyone, although you can leave a donation um, for my time and effort if you'd like to, but you don't have to. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, let me show you the re the result. I sent an email to my, or I did a recall. Here's what it is. Here's, I put Mobile Grand Rapids in there. Uh, I put call from your website. And then here, notice how this phone number is the caller. And that's the MP3 file. So this would go right to your business owner could be testimonials, it could be calls. Um, so start using this. It's a really nice little script, and I think it'll, it'll work well for you. Talk to you later.